Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about performance versions of Aether SX2, the PS2 emulator on Android. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, for those of you who are unaware, Aether SX2 is an incredible PS2 emulator on Android. You can get it for free right on the Google Play Store. On top of that, if you wanted to pick up the APK directly from Aether SX2 outside of the Google Play Store, you absolutely can, and it's 100% free. Just head to the official Aether SX2 website, I'll link it in the description below, and head to the bottom of the page. Under the beta folder here, the latest version will be the latest version in the Google Play Store. You can check out the alpha folder here for an experimental development version if you want to test out the latest cutting edge features. And you can also pick up a custom turnip version, which I covered in a previous video and I'll leave it in the description below. Now, what I definitely don't recommend doing here is heading to Google, typing in Aether SX2 APK and then picking up one of these APK files. You may or may not get an actual Aether SX2 APK and you might get something else instead. There have been reports of malicious apps downloaded from these websites. There have been reports of Daemon PS2 disguised as Aether SX2 downloaded from these websites. I've gotten a few messages from people saying, hey, you know what, they've downloaded the APK for Aether SX2 and they've had a problem on their phone. Well, yeah, if you've downloaded it from one of these websites, there's a huge chance you've downloaded something that really isn't official. Now, in addition to all of that stuff, unfortunately, I've received a bunch of messages from people telling me to check out this new performance-based fork of Aether SX2. And I can tell you without even checking it out, it's 100% fake. And that's for one very big reason. Aether SX2 is not 100% open source. The Android portion of Aether SX2 is closed source, which means you can't fork it. It is true that part of Aether SX2 is open source, and that's the part that's based off of PCSX2. But the specific portion of it made for Android, well, that is closed source. When something is closed source, that means you don't have access to the code, so you can't fork it if you wanted to. At this point in time, and probably for the foreseeable future, the only real version of Aether SX2 will be available on the Google Play Store or directly from the Aether SX2 website nowhere else. Now I know some of you won't want to hear this, but if your phone is having serious issues running Aether SX2, maybe you get 5 to 10 frames a second, there is no magic solution to carry that to 60 frames a second. Yes, you can do some performance tweaks, yes, you can try some things out to gain a few frames a second here and there, but realistically you're not going to be getting like 40 to 50 frames a second for all of your games. There's no magic solution, there's no magic performance tweak, there is no magic version of this app. We're talking about PlayStation 2 emulation here, not the NES, not the SNES. By today's standards, this does require quite a powerful CPU. If your CPU is currently not cutting it, chances are it won't be cutting it in the future. It's unfortunate, but that is the reality of the situation. If you try to pick up some sort of off-market APK here, you'll probably be let down. But anyways, that is all I've got for this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about Aether SX2 in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.